Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Kim from Seoul, Korea. Nice to see you all. And before I start, let me briefly introduce myself. And I am a trained prosthodontist and as well as oral and maxillofacial surgeon. And as a double board certified dentist, my major concerns are implant dentistry and the digital dentistry. And today I'm here to introduce new application which will show up, uh, show up in the new Medit update someday in November 2020. Uh, I know there are many interesting stuff from this new update, so you need to keep up your eyes on the new update for the Medit link. And the one, the one application that I'm going to introduce today is called Crown Fit. Okay, you know what it is for. Okay, Medit company named this new application as a crown fit, but if they asked me to name it, I would call it uh, virtual fit checker instead of crown fit. You know why? That's because what does this interesting application is virtual fit checking. Uh -huh. And I think this new application will be beneficial for dentists and as well as lab technician because the, especially in situations like full digital workflow or modelless workflow. So let's go in details. Okay, so uh, we have scanned apartment like this. Uh, I took the scan with the uh, uh, i500 intraoral scanner from the Medit. And once lab technician receives this file, then he or she is going to design the restoration like this. Now we have STL file, right? And with the designed with the designed STL, they will going to produce lear crown. So this was uh, me, uh, monolithic zirconia crown, which was milled, right? So now we need to scan this lear crown, and you can do it with the I five hundred. So now we have three different data, right? So okay, from the from here, with the crown fit. You can compare between STL and the crown to see how accurate it is. And also you can compare the outer surface of the abutment tooth and the internal surface of the rear crown. Then you can see any bindings or hot spots or misfit what we do with the feet checker in the office. That's why I'm called I I'm suggesting is saying virtual feet checker. Okay, so these are the clinical steps. What we do the day of crown or of, or any fixed restoration setting. So we need to check an adjustment proximal contact or proximal contact or proximal contact first. If proximal contacts is are too tight, then of course the crown will not sit all the way down. So after adjustment of proximal contact, then we need to check the feet of the internal feet, right? To, uh, to see it goes in or not. Once you know crown sits properly and close all the margins, then you go for the occlusal adjustment. And these are the clinical steps we all should do for the every single restoration, right? Okay, so here I have a case that need the single crown for left lower second molar because of crack and fracture of the tooth. So I prepared and scanned with I500 and I send the data to the lab. Okay, I send the data to the uh, Mr. Go, uh, which is uh, who is master dental technician who I work with more than 10 years together. Okay, this is movie clip that he showed me, he sent me. Okay, and first of all, after we received the file, he designed, he designed the crown like this, right? Then he milled and he scanned the data. So now, as you see here, now he has scanned a uh, real crown and this is STL file. These are the file that I, uh, data that I sent from the intraoral scanner. So after that, he put the scan file and STL file. Now it's a rear crown file. Okay, 
and then he started to compare like this so uh, he used the 35 micron as a tolerance level so anything blue means it's a smaller than he designed right and the green looks good and he cut and several planes in different direction he, he checked the accuracy of the crown that he milled from the scanned data and actually he did the two crowns and he did it again for the second crown like this okay so this is the procedure while he while he using the crown fit for this crown okay so after that he come up with this picture okay so anything green means it fits good right but you can see the yellow yellow area here and here and actually the crown that he mill was a little smaller here in the yellow part well it happens maybe because of the tool size and other reasons okay anyway if it is correct then my crown should go and sit on the abutment tooth without any bindings okay uh, this is a zirconia, monolithic zirconia crown that he sent right so this is pictures of crown and I tried in patient mouth and I checked it with the fit checker And for tooth color restorations, like a zirconia restorations or ceramic restoration, when I use the feed checker, I usually use feed checker with drop of carious detector because it makes easy for me to detect bindings. So as you see here, you can notice there are some bindings of the medial surface right here. Okay, but you should be very careful when you read feed checker like this. Okay, this these bindings are not from the initial like uh, internal surface of the abutment as you see here you can see the margin is open so major margin is open so it means that you need to adjust the proximal contact before you adjust the internal surface okay so after adjustment of major contact the feet of the crown was good uh, without any interference so i go ahead and cement the crown so i deliver the crown in patient mouth okay so again this is what crown fit does so we have scanned abutment and we have a designed STL files and also we have manufactured crown so we are crown so now we need to scan we are crown and you can scan with i500 okay from here with the crown fit you can compare between this STL and the crown to see accuracy of manufacturing and also you can compare this abutment tooth to the internal surface of the crown to see how how good the fit is right okay so how do you think so do you think crown fit gonna be helpful for your practice of course it is for the dentist by using by use of crown fit it can increase the predictability because you know where to adjust right if before patient comes okay so you can reduce the chair time which is most precious and I think crown fit is definitely beneficial for the dentist and how about lab how about lab technicians okay for the lab they can easily check the performance of their milling machines and know how to maintain and when to fix when to change the tools and also they can provide better restoration to the dentist and they will get good reputations from their customers okay so that was it for today and I hope you like my presentation and please be sure you pay attention to the new update from MediLink someday on November 2020 Okay, thank you all and I hope to see you again and take care and bye-bye.